Good morning, everyone. Today is the 22nd of July, 2022, Wednesday morning. And hope you all are having a good week. We made it through the middle of the week. Um, well, we always remind ourselves God is sovereign over all. Do you believe it? Do you believe that God is sovereign over all? Regardless of what is going on in your life. If God isn't sovereign over all, then there, there, that means that he's not sovereign. It means that he is not Lord at all. He's not sovereign over all. And uh, like we've often said, there are no maverick molecules. God is in control over everything. He works all things after the counsel of his own will. You know, we used to sing a song as a little kid. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the little baby in his hands. He's got you and me in his hands. If he doesn't have the whole world in his hands, who's got the world in his hands? People think that uh, Satan has got the world in his hands. People think the Jesuits have the world in their hands. People think that uh, the Jews have the whole world in their hands. Now, there is an Antichrist. <laughs> you know, reformers, you know, called it like it was the Thessalonians where it says that he sits in the in the temple of God and proclaims that he is God you know but Pope Francis has got a big awakening coming you know he thinks he's sitting in God's stead well he's not Pope Francis you're not you're not God. Well, Jesus Christ came in the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. And let us never forget that Only God can reveal himself to those who are dead in their trespasses and sin by causing them to be born again. Jesus Christ himself told Nicodemus, you must be born again. The spirit bloweth where it listeth, and no man knoweth the sound thereof. So is everyone that is born of the spirit of God. Spiritual knowledge must be revealed to those who are dead in trespasses and sin. We know we are all sinners. We've come short of the glory of God. While we were yet sinners, Christ died for us if we're one of his. So this morning I want to encourage you to remain in the word of God. Don't ever uh, succumb to the lies of free will. And I want to let everyone know that if you're interested in getting this a copy a pdf copy of this book the lies of free will do you control your own destiny if you go to larrywphillips.com and say i'd like a copy a pdf copy of the lies of free will i'll be happy to send you a copy you can also get a paperback copy if you go to lulu.com and put in the lies of free will by larry phillips um Anyway, I want to read a couple of these poems. Also, I'll be happy to send you our poems for edification um, in a PDF copy as well if you request that. Now, I have a book that is very unpopular. Uh, it's 352 pages of God Does Not Love Everyone, but He Does Love His Elect from Everlasting to Everlasting. I'll also send you a PDF copy of that if you're interested. And then finally, um, if you have an interest in what happened to me back in 1997, this is called Phillips versus the State of Missouri. And it's about when I was 
involved in social work and I was terminated for refusing to place children, foster children with homosexuals. Um, well, to conclude today's little devotional, <clears throat> um, When I look at the beauty of the earth with all its majesty, I can't help but be reminded how the Creator died on the tree. The very tree He made just for the sacrifice and was placed there. He paid the price for me. I'm sure the beauty of Mount Calvary was serene when the Redeemer hung there in agony and pain. While on resurrection morning, the beauty must have burst forth with glory of our Savior and all creation clapping its hands in praise, showing Him its pleasure. Yes, the beauty of the earth reveals a mighty Creator and King, and most importantly, the angels in heaven sing, worshiping the Lamb that was slain, He, our redemption, did bring. May the good Lord be with you today in a special way, and always remember that God is sovereign over all. God bless.